Hi, I'm Dr. Vera Tarman, and I am talking to Cynthia today about doing the I'm Sweet Enough, the September Sugar-Free Challenge. Uh, that is 30 days of no added sugars from September 1st to September 30th. All right, Cynthia, why are you doing this? Oh my God, so many reasons, Vera, but uh, I think the primary reason is I've been battling with sugar my entire life. Mm. Off and on, off and on, thinking I should give it up, and I shouldn't. I never have been able to be successful at that. For how any long, how time. long did you go? What would be your longest time? Probably a week. A week. And then I'd succumb if I was lucky. But I, what happened is, you know, I'm past menopause, so menopause and um, medication that I take have... Yeah both contributed to me putting on, since menopause, probably 35 pounds. Wow. Yeah, and I can't get it off. I haven't changed my eating pattern at all, uh -huh. and it won't come off. I, I know that you're part of the Renaissance um, food program, which is a no sugar, no flour, no grains. Yeah. Has that, have you ever been, uh, and you're part of that, you're a counselor in that program. Have you ever wished that you could be part of that program? I'd love to be able to follow their food plan for a month and see. As a matter of fact, I was thinking about ah. doing that for my month's challenge in September. So um, it would be like a, a, a no sugar deluxe. Yes, yes. You said that you got as far as a week in the past? Yeah, I think probably in the past. And did you ever notice that your cravings subsided a bit when you were around day seven, day eight? Probably not because I wouldn't have gone back to it after a week. Okay, what, what, would, what would trip you up? What, what would make you not be able to last longer than the 10 days? You know, interestingly enough, I think it might have been um, wanting bread, like a carb of some sort. Yeah. Not so much the sugar, but then, you know, after hearing all the food information through the Renaissance program, I realized that they're filled with sugar anyway. Yeah. Or it converts, it converts to sugar in your body. So I was still looking for the sugar no matter what form it was in. Yeah. Yeah. It gets, your head just gets obsessive. It, um, huh. it's strong. It's a powerful craving. Yeah. It's a powerful craving. Okay. So what is it that you hope will happen in this month? That you've made the decision that you're going to do this. What's your mm -hmm. hope? Well, obviously, I'd like to lose some weight. That is one of the, the issues. But I've also learned about sugar being poison to the body, poison to my system. And I would like, I have a stress stressful job. I would like to have the energy that I hear comes with that. And with so many people around me where I work even a little bit informed, I would have somebody to talk to okay. and, and talk about it, you know, rather than just keeping it in my head and moving and it, try and learn to expand that window uh, so I can make a more healthy decision. The more I learn about sugar, I think any day without sugar is a good day. <laughs> so it doesn't matter if it's a month, if you can't do a month, if you can do one day or two days, it's like, it's like quitting smoking. If you can't, but you can go a few days without smoking, you're having good days. Great. So I'd say try it no matter what and see what the benefits are. Give yourself an opportunity to see what the benefits are of such an endeavor. And, and I think, and the people I know that talk about it, including yourself, I know that it works. I've seen it. Yeah. I've seen it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Cynthia, so much for giving this time. And I wish you all the luck to get past a week. But even like you said, one day is good. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Bye.